Yes, sir. Hey, how are you? Okay, thank you. Okay, what are you doing with cost? Are you in it or did you get out of it? <clears throat> I, I am still in cost, yes. I am sitting here watching it at the moment. Okay, so you didn't follow your rules then? Um, I didn't follow my rules. Your rule was to get out with profit up 60% to 100%, which this trade but, is, or but was. I haven't, but I haven't, Melissa. I am, at this moment in time, I am up 19.78%. That's impossible. You're, you you need to change brokers. Yeah, tell, what, 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 did, what on God's name did you pay for this trade? That That is physically impossible. It, it's it's I actually paid, impossible, Philip. I paid 373 there's for one contract. No way. I'm just, I, and you, what Why, time is that? You, is that high? That's insanely high. And from the time that I called the trade, I mean, I called this trade out of the gate on Friday. Let me look at this here. There's no way, Philip. There's no way. Well, um, I. That's that's what I that, got. And this I would mean. show that you would have gotten it after eleven o'clock, between eleven and twelve, if you paid that much. That yes, you could have, you could have, but you would have paid, you would have bought it late into lunch. I should have written the time down that I bought it because I'm taking note of this. Um, I I think well, there's I something to. up with the place you're trading at. This isn't the first trade. I mean, you should have been up. That I mean, even at the high today, then you would have only been up twenty something. I mean, this is still this is holding the price actually gorgeous. I mean. But I wanted to make sure that you are following your rules here. Absolutely. I but am you can't rules. even do that like a normal person if your broker is not giving you good prices. I'm telling you right now, if you paid over four, you bought it between 11 and noon. That is nowhere near where I sent the trade out. Um, it doesn't say the time on my transaction list. I mean, I'm don't you remember what you did? See. Don't you remember what you did on Friday? Don't you remember? No, I'm looking, I'm looking for the precise time when I took the trade. I know, but I'm saying, like, don't you remember if you did it when I called it or if you got it, like, later if you weren't home or something like that? Melissa, I, mean, I, I generally take it exactly when you call it, no matter what. And that's what I'm saying, then something is awry. Now, this pulled in after I took it. I remember that because I thought, ah, oh, I could have got it cheaper. I could have probably. It doesn't got even it. matter. Out of the gate, out of the gate is what I'm saying. It wasn't what what I'm saying. Out of the gate, it wasn't. Well, that's when I took it. There's no timestamp on this. Yeah, I I think something is awry. This isn't the first time I thought that. You gotta. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you here. It's almost like. You see, short on actually comparing option chains. You know, at the same time, there's not much. What about, oh, you don't have the other platform anymore. You only have one platform now, huh? Yeah. I, I do actually have another platform. Oh, then that's what you need to do the next time. That's what yeah. you need to do. Another options platform, yeah. Yep, that's what you need to do. You need to, you need, I, I, I just, mm. well, then, I, 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 I. And I would, I would have liked, I think, I I, I mean, I, I told everyone in the room, if you want to hold this a little bit longer, 2.30, but then when it tried to get over that area around lunch, then it didn't, I thought, well, this is probably a good exit. But I mean, you know, it, your, your price is, is not what it should be, really, in my opinion. But this this was a, this was about over a 20% gain then with what you had, which, wouldn't, which wasn't terrible. It's still profit, but I would have liked to see you had a better price in this or make more, even if you've gotten it. In the low threes, it would have been better. Yes. But either either way, this looks higher. But with the size that you're trading, that is actually a situation. Anyways, all right. What do you know with the cues? Yes, I'm still holding the cues. This you could have taken more out of the gate. We talked about it in the room in the morning. You weren't there again. Uh, you could have bought more here today to pull your price down to get it around positive. So I, you know, I don't know what you want to do here with this now. What what is your cost in this? I'm down fifty five. Over fifty five percent in that. No, just um, give me your. Just give me. Yeah. So if you would have added today, you would have been up. This morning. Yes. 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 I mean, it's pulled back a long way, hasn't it, today? But but I, I am down. I'm down about two hundred thirty dollars in that. So. No. Yeah. What's your price in it? Just give me the cost. 
Exactly. Mm, the cost. The cost the option, of the option. The yes, give it to yes, me. Yes, yes, it is two eleven <laughs> for two contracts. I think that's actually okay, but let me look here. That's a, that's not that's that sounds like a normal price. Now let me just look at that one. Well, what do you want to do? You want to leave it, or what do you want to do with this? Well, I mean, it's you didn't get it out of the gate this morning, which would have been you would have been up if you had. I didn't call well, a second would, trade but... in it because I didn't. You know, I, 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 I didn't call a second trade in it because the first one's on, but again, you know. But that's averaging down again, isn't it? I mean, it is, but I, this was like, again, you're reading charts so poorly and you're not in the room, so I know you're doing this on your own. I, I, I'm not going to yell at you for not taking more, but I'm just saying, what do you want to do with this now? <clears throat> I mean, yes, it would have been tempting, and it's right up my street to take a few more at that moment in time when it opened this morning because it gapped, even though it didn't really gap significantly over anything but if you took if you doubled your position now your cost would be one and a half and the price now is right right a little bit under one if this goes up tomorrow this is going to run up to 175 here in the close if we get up tomorrow and run this this could potentially be a big trade it's not like i felt about the one where i told you to take more which you screwed up but this could. What do you want to? What do you want to do? Well, I wouldn't exactly say I screwed it up. I actually took profit. You got out of that with three hundred dollars. Left it up to me to take it out. You got out with three hundred dollars. You needed fifteen hundred dollars risk, and you could have made over two grand. That was screwing up a trade. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you, when I when I asked you about that, yeah, you, you, I forget. The, what exactly was this? Well, it was to follow your rules, which was to get out between 60% and 100%, but that wasn't up 60%. It wasn't even up 50%. You got out with 30%. This is why I was checking on you today about Costco and this trade. These are yes. good trades. These are solid, solid trades. You'll still be up in Costco tomorrow, but you can't hold on to that long because you got a shitty price in it. This thing here, what do you want to do? You got an hour no, and a half I left to decide. I don't particularly want to add to this. All right, then no, which... then fine. You just run it, run it out, and wherever it goes, it goes. But then yeah, I don't know if yeah. you're going to make between 60% and 100% because of your price in it. I'm just letting you know. Now, I'm going to try to figure out here what I think this is going to be worth tomorrow if it gets right. up to 176, 177. Just hang on. I'll figure, figure it out. I'm, then you got to be realistic with it. Then is what I'm saying. Yes. So basically, break even. I mean, I broke no, even. No, I'm not saying break even. even. I'm just saying. Yes, I can't go. I can't go for my sixty or to sixty hundred percent region. I've just got to take whatever. I think you could have played this trade a little bit harder. The confirmation was there today, but again, you're reading charts in a way that it's like I mean, without me exactly telling you, you're just not seeing it anymore, Philip. Now let me just look here. We're at 174.56. 50 cents away from the money. If we go to 176. This goes to 176 tomorrow. A dollar in the money. Yeah, it'll be break even. It'll be break even. You're not gonna be up. Well, break even is better than losing. No, m making money is better than losing. <laughs> I, 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 I hate Lisa, to break it to you. Lisa, but I, that I, is I, the goal, Philip. It's not break even, and it's not, not losing. It's well, making money. That is the reason that you trade, correct? Yes, of course it okay. is. But at the same time, I have a lot of red on my screen at the moment. So if I if I get anywhere near break even, it's like HD. Wait a minute. Day, Wait a minute. Is. You have a lot of red on the screen. I mean, I, I can't spend an hour with you lecturing you about your negativity. What no, red do you have on your positive. screen? Don't get me wrong. Don't misunderstand me. I am positive. I what mean, is I there all HD the red on the screen? Even. What the heck are you red on the screen on, Philip? This trade is down by 50%. Yes. I told you yes. you could add to it. You'd be positive today. You don't want to do it. That's fine. You're up in Costco. Walmart, yeah. we already know that you absolutely screwed up. That's not going to work out at all. We already had the conversation five billion times, and that's mm -hmm. your own fault. And what else? Target. Target you Target. didn't get out of, and that's one trade. So if Target does not go back around 
and go further, which it still very well could. It could pop tomorrow and run like the moon. But if it doesn't, yes. and you didn't get out of any day, the day that this capped up here, which some people got out of some, some people held some, I thought this would go the following day. It didn't. The market screwed this up. But even if you didn't get out of one single solitary thing, this is one losing trade. Walmart was a winning trade. You messed it up. Okay. Target, if you didn't get out of any of it, may completely lose. And even if you got out of half, the back half may lose. But that's one losing trade. The Qs, you were not going to lose in. And you're not going to lose in Costco. But, I mean, you really got a horrible price in this Costco. Just, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it must be to do with you got to double check that price. The open, marking it up. It must be something to do. With, I, I've had that before. I don't think the it's price a, it's, opened up, and it's opened higher, and then obviously a little bit of time, and it stabilizes. Well, you're supposed to not. You're supposed to put an order out in between the bid and the ask. I mean, what are you doing? Oh yes, yeah, so I do. I do that. Yes, I do do that. Well, I that wouldn't have been at four. Possible. If you put in a, a, if you put in a, now just listen to me here. If you I put am. in a bid between, if you put in an order out between the bid and the ask, there's no way that you would have gotten filled at four. It ran up and filled you at four. Or you just hit it and got filled at four. There, that's impossible. I mean, I, I saw what, it. What, what, do you, what do you mean four? I got filled at 373. Oh, I thought you said your price was four. No, 373. Either way, I, 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 I can't even believe it. I don't even remember now exactly if that was the midway point or not, but that's still not a good price. I thought you said you paid four. No, no, sorry, no. Anyways, you're negative. I mean, you're you're negative in your head because because of Walmart yeah. and I'm Target. If Target break. loses, it loses. That's one losing trade. Cues are going to work. You could have played it harder. You chose not to do it. Fine. Costco, you're up. You got a horrible price in it. You got to play it the best that you can. Walmart, you messed up the trade completely 100%, and Target may lose. But oh. in four trades, out of four trades, you should have been up in three of them at least. And now, one, you messed up the exit, and now you're going to do what with the other with the other with the other three i mean the one may lose which is target but you messed up an exit in one one may lose and now these other two you, you know i mean what are you gonna it's like i mean yeah, do you see how you're kind perfect. of like in this negative like you're like in this hurricane or something like you're in this tornado thing like well I don't, I don't know, feel I don't feel negative at all. You I, keep I talking about how you see red on the screen, and well, you keep yes, talking about I'm, Walmart, I'm, which I'm is over. Colors. You know, we have red and green, and there's more red on my screen than there is green, which unfortunately is an unfortunate fact. So that's I'm, what you should focus on then. I, I'm focusing on green. I can I like to see green. I really do. Green is good. Red, you're dead. So then why did you just percent. say every? I'm all all the screen is all red. Well. Well, it's not all red, is it? But that's Aren't what came it? out of your mouth. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I mean, it's more red than green. That's the fact. But, you know, I do have some green on my screen. I know, I but I mean, the... honestly, if this is just a happenstance of a bad fill uh, with the broker, that is something that you can correct very easily going forward. You better watch these costs of these trades, and you should be putting an order out for a mid-fill, number one. Number two, you're going to make money in cost. It probably goes another day. If people get out of it today, fine. If you want to get out of it now, you can find it's profit. If you want to hold it, this could potentially be a very big trade. Either way, this will not be negative. So focus on the trades that are working. This trade is working. This trade, even though you're down in it, because I called it early, you could have added to today. You could add to it right now. It's working. Now you don't want to do it. You don't want to add to it. But again, you're not focused on the trades that are going, which is this trade here. You're focused on Walmart, which is over. It's not, not going to work out. The Walmart focused. is over. Melissa. Delete it. In fact, I just kill it now. Take the loss. Get out of it today to get it off your screen. That's my professional advice to you. It won't go right. You're not going to get out of this with any money at all. You have been focused on this every conversation that I've had with you for the last month. You screwed up the exit on it. It didn't go the way that I thought the first day, but still, you probably should have got out of it for all the reasons we already reviewed. The bottom line is, take it off. It's a loss. There's no reason to ever discuss it again or even look at it, yeah. Philip. I am not focused on Walmart. I am not focused on Walmart. Then what are you focused on? The red on your screen, which you shouldn't. Costco's green. The market looks great. Focus on the trade. It's working out of the trade. Turn it around. Make a lot of money in it. And the other one in Target, it's either going to work or it's not. Walmart is dead. You missed the exit. Kill it.
Don't you see how you're like, you're not in a rhythm here. Like even me telling you to take more of the market and play that hard. Even me telling you to, to kill the, like you're not in a rhythm here. Like you're not in a rhythm here. I mean, even Target may end up working out if anybody held any of it as a whole thing at all because I may call to add one out of this tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what it does. I have to see it right here. Mm. I wouldn't today, but I'm just saying like, you're like, you're not in a rhythm. I'm in a rhythm. Do you understand? It's like you, you, you kill the losers, you trade the good ones, you play them hard. You're, you're like all out of shorts here. Like and Yes, yes, I understand that. But surely the time to take more of the cues was at the open. Sure it was, but it's still, gonna, it's, still, it's, still, it's still running up into the close. It's still running up into the close. This trade is still higher. The trade still looks good. You still got four days left. You still, the market power trend today, I don't see anything happening, you know, except for a war that would create any kind of red tomorrow in the market based on this bar today. The market opened today and ran up and never looked back. There's no red bars in the 15 minute chart at all, except for one baby. This market power trend today, it's a huge source of strength. So to say that this isn't gonna to continue tomorrow, even if we gap down, this will continue tomorrow. We'd have to collapse, collapse on our top of ourselves like BA did today for the market to fall through this bar. This bar will continue higher, 100%. I know it, so, I mean, it's really just on you. But I yeah. mean, at this point yeah. now, your price is so far away, 50% away, that even if it gets one point through the strike tomorrow, just figured it out, you're gonna be break even. You will be break even. So this could go to 180. It could go to 180 in the time, but I don't know if it goes to 180 tomorrow. But in an ideal world, the market gaps up tomorrow and runs, runs like Dickens. And then that would, you could get up tomorrow morning if you added here and be up into the open and just take it. Just take it and book it and get out. <clears throat> or you could rate the gap and play it on through, but you're not in a groove with doing that. You're like completely, completely 100% out of the groove of what I taught you. Like trading, part of trading isn't, eh, eh, eh. it's not like being a robot. It is as far as the money manager where you say, well, I'm going to put a stop here. Or I'm going to, you know, when you're day trading, but it's not like it's, it's, you can't, you have to like read it in live time and say, oops, there it is. You know, like you have to be able to do that. Again, there's a certain skill set to that, which by the way, Philip, you used to have, and now it's just like completely gone off the rails. I, but how are you going to get it back? You're not going to get it back by going, ee, ee, ee. that's not going to get it back. Break even isn't going to get it back. <laughs> I mean, you do well, whatever no, you want, but, but you know. At, at the same time, I can play another day, can't I? If I, if I come out and break even, it's. That's it's, your goal then? Absolutely not. My goal is to make money. When I take a trade, my goal is to make money. And obviously, the further you get down the road of, of time, you have to consider everything, don't you? You have to consider whether or not you're going to actually make First of all, you're different. talking about options, not day trade. Second of all, I had yeah. this conversation with somebody in the room this morning. A week, four days left in the market, three days left in the market, two days left in the market is an eternity. This has an entire week left, four entire days. It's an eternity. An eternity. I didn't say it wasn't, did I? Did I, did I well, I you just said, well, you have to take into account the time. Well... Well, you do, don't you? I'm talking generally. But I know. You do, don't you? You do. You've got to consider Obviously, time. that goes without saying. That's, like, yeah. obvious. Well, right. Well, there you are. But sometimes you've got to say the obvious. The obvious is escaping you. The market opened today, gapped up, and power trended all day and never looked back, and you sat and watched it down in your trade with red on your screen and sat there and sat there and sat there. You could have no, acted. You could have played it through. Well, you, I'm sure you looked at the market this morning, and you didn't do I squat. Did. I was at the open. I was here at the open. Yes, I did. I didn't right, see and it. you're not yes. in the room anymore, and I told people in the room they could add to the trade, but you could have thought to do that yourself. Instead, you did not. Right. Okay, I can add that to my parameters. I didn't realize that I could add to my losing trade and it would be okay. Not in every trade, but I think this was pretty obvious today. And the price was like 30 some cents. I mean, it was like a steal. And I, you know, I, I mean, I was involved with the rim this morning, so I didn't get a new trade out. I'm also suspicious of calling new trades when there's already a trade on in the same symbol and it's confusing for people. But either way, the point yes. is though that you, you could have done that with this. I mean, I'm just trying to help you make money. That's all that I'm trying to do. So and I appreciate it. I, I believe you. you should kill Walmart. I should think you take the loss and take it off your screen. It will never go right. I mean, but I, it, I, you it know. It makes no difference, Melissa. It can only go up because the difference is emotional for you. Anyway. The difference it matter, is, does it? it does matter. It has affected your ability to look it's at not, anything right. It's not. I can just move, Every, I can just move my little screen up so I can cover Walmart. Oh, there it has. It's gone. So there's no... I don't know I don't why you talk Walmart. about it all the time then. 
I'm not talking about it. I am not talking about it. No, it's great. I'm looking at Costco. Costco is green. I'm up $118 at the moment. And how much did you risk in the trade? Uh, I risked three seventy three sixty. Unfortunately, I couldn't get two because of the price. So you could get out of Costco today and book the money if you want. I could. I could get out of Costco today. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's still rising now. Is it two twenty nine forty nine? Yeah. So it's about to break over. So what would you be looking at as a, a quick target today then? I think 230. 230 or mm. right up over 230 would be a gorgeous exit on this. You'd have some money booked. And I would have today, and you still could today, throw the money into the queues to see if we gap up tomorrow and turn that trade into positive two. And then Target is either going to work or it's not. And Walmart, you messed up the exit. I would just write that off and kill it. Right. Then right. you would I'll have three. Walmart, that's no problem. Hmm? And I, I will, I will look at watch cost, and take it out if it is two thirty. If if you had the luxury of holding, I'd say hold Costco another day. But I mean, you know, for you to be able to book two hundred dollars today or anything close to that, which you could, but you had another hour of trading. That's not half bad. That's not half yeah. bad for a trade that you took on Friday and you got out on Monday. That's not half bad at all. Try to turn the queue trade into something that's going to work out now. Focus on that one. It's it, it got some juice under it today. This is two days of juice here. And I'm not saying cost doesn't continue. You just don't have the luxury with the size of the account that you have right now to hold everything to a dream number. This could get to dream number, but I'm not 100%. But the queues have finally done what I thought it would do last week. But either way, you're, you're not playing that hard enough. So, I mean, it's totally, totally on you. But you'd have to make any dent at all, you'd have to double your position in that. And I don't know if it's something you want to do or not. But I, that trade is really not a loser. And I don't even think it's going to be a loser, even if you don't add to it. It's just not going to be a big winner. Right. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. And thank you. Yes. I really think you should take Walmart off your screen. But it's up it, to you. It's gone. It's not on my screen. Oh, I've okay. It up. I can't see it. All right. Very I can't good. see it. It's gone. And Target? You may get yeah, the list, I don't know. It's, I mean, this could just surprise everybody on the planet. This has plenty of time left, too. Don't get caught up in thinking a week is, is not long enough. That's not true at all. This still really hasn't made the move yet. It was profitable by a certain amount. Some people did take the easy exit, but personally, I thought that it had way more room to go, but the market kind of screwed this up then on Thursday. So see where this goes. Follow target through. Cost is your call. Take it up and see where it goes here into the close. And then yes. on the market, it's whatever you want to do with it. But if you don't feel like doubling your position in it, then just leave it be. I might just do that. We'll see see how it trades. Uh, lots of times what happens, I'm going to give you a tip. If you do end up wanting to add more to the market, if you decide you want to do it, usually these pitter off in the end of the day. Like just let it like a balloon yes. they'll pitter off it'll pitter off like somewhere between probably 345 and four like or even 330 and four like the the air will go out of the balloon in the option trade in the very end of the day so if you are going to take more of this i'd wait until the even if even if the price holds the air goes yes. out in the balloon because some people bought this today and are going to get out of this today do you understand mm -hmm. some people play mm -hmm. them for the day so let the air go out of the balloon when the selling comes into this today, just the selling in the option chain, and you could buy it there if you want. It's still not going to be at 30 cents like it was this morning, but you, it, the air will come out of the balloon here. You could, you might get it for 65. Right. Okay. I'll okay. do that then. Thank you. Yes, about five to four then, yeah. Right. Well, just watch it. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'll see how it goes. All right. Good luck. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Thanks, Melissa. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.